relax. Right, exactly. <laughs> and, and no one's to say that you do your best work when you're, when you're really tense. I know a lot of people believe that. And I know a lot of my clients, when they, my patients, when they come in, they're like, coffee's the only thing that keeps me going. I can't <laughs> think without it. And when they actually, I, I never tell someone, look, you, you absolutely cannot drink coffee. It's up to them what they want to do. But I would say, why don't you try a little experiment? See if you drink, you're drinking four cups a day now. Well, you know, you could either, like maybe try a smaller cup if you want to do four cups, or try drinking three or two and, and see what happens, see what you feel like. And inevitably, they come back to me and they're like, well, I really can't believe it, but I just feel so much more productive now. I feel so much more with it, and I can sleep at night now, so <laughs> I feel better when I wake up in the morning, and I don't feel as much like I need it. So, um, yeah, I mean, we're really in a society where we're go, 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 go. You know, very quick bites on everything, and we don't take the time, and, and um, that's why my office is like an oasis. It's like, here you are, you're going to take the time. Mm -hmm. And taking that time will make a huge difference in how productive you are the rest of the week and, and how you feel. Yeah, I'm, you know, it's interesting because I, I read a lot um, of the benefits of acupuncture, how it helps with a lot of issues. People tend to think that it's good just for low back pain. Right. But it's not. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's good for many things. Tell me some of the things that you treat and some of the successes you've had. Well, I'd say probably a my lot. poster child is a, <laughs> I had this one client who came in. Um, she, she had a history of mono when she was young and now she, you know, she's in midlife and she, um, you know, she works at a job. She has her own business. All of a sudden she got really really sick to the point where she collapsed and she couldn't do anything anymore. Mm. She was then fearful, not able to go out of her house. She had such extreme fatigue that um, she just couldn't even get out of bed in the morning a lot, of, a lot of times. And her whole body hurt. She ached all over. She wasn't really sure how this got started. She thought maybe she was exposed to mercury and was poisoned and that kind of set it off. But all the old symptoms of mono had come back, and some, you mm -hmm. know. She also had extreme pain and burning in the bottoms of her feet, and I'm like, okay, what's going on here? So I started her with acupuncture, very gentle, and sometimes all I did was one point because that's really all she could tolerate. At that mm. stage, she was just right. so, so sick, and I spent a lot of time just, you know, being with her talking to her. I mean, she'd come in, she was crying, you know, just to give her a hug, to, you know, talk to her and soothe her made a huge difference. And she was like, I don't want to be alone. She brought somebody with her in the treatment room. And I'm like, that's fine. You know, whatever, whatever it takes to make you feel better. And it took a while, it really took a long time because she was so sick. But several months later, she came bouncing into my office. She was like, I actually drove somewhere by myself wow. with no one in the car. And, um, you know, I'm getting out and I'm starting to work again and I'm doing all the things I love to do and, and I'm traveling. She had a, a vacation home that she hadn't been to in a long time because she just didn't think she could make the four hour trip. She was like, I went and I had a good time, <laughs> you know? So it's great when you see somebody coming out the other side from having been so sick. So yeah, I mean, I see all sorts of things. Um, people who have irritable bowel syndrome, mm -hmm. or maybe they actually do have an, you know, an actual illness of colitis, where they've got extreme pain, diarrhea, um, a lot of pain, and they can't figure out which foods are causing it, which aren't, and you know, sometimes it's not about the food. Sometimes right. it's about stress. Sometimes it's about other things. But I'll put them on a regimen of, of acupuncture and herbs, and they get to a better place. Sometimes they're able to cut back on their meds. 
sometimes they get to a point where they don't even need them anymore. And it, it just depends. Mm -hmm. I actually, I remember you, you were saying that. I remember um, I went in for a treatment and mm -hmm my allergies were really bad mm. and I could barely breathe. Um, you did some pressure points, the acupressure points, and mm -hmm. I could feel one side of my face almost just drain. Right. And um, you recommended some Chinese herbs. I went mm -hmm. downstairs, took them in the car, and I don't think in 15 minutes I was able to just breathe and it made mm. such a big difference because I had been taking 